Now, everybody knows about gliders. But gliders are fairly commonplace, fun as they are. Have you ever tried a paper hang glider? It's simple, but it's interesting. You start off with a piece of ordinary A4 writing paper, and you fold it end to end, creasing it down the middle. Well, I've already done that, and there it is. You can see, if I fold it in two like that, there's a nice sharp crease, and I use nothing more than paper clips to finish it off. One at that end of the fold, which keeps it nicely tight. One at this end of the fold, to do the same sort of thing. And now, the wings of the hang glider are the loose pieces of paper, which can come up and over and around. And I use one more paper clip at one end, just to clip them underneath the main body. Now, that's the glider as it is, but it wouldn't fly. The difference between gliders and hang gliders is really that the hang gliders work on the weight that they're carrying. A weight will drop them and then they'll move off. Now, they need a bit more weight than they've got there, otherwise they'll stall. So a chain, probably about, uh, I should say, two or three paper clips, will complete the job. You'll need to experiment here. If it doesn't fly very well, add a bit more weight. I'm going to put on one, and I think perhaps a second one, given that this is fairly light paper. I'll see how it goes with that. There we are. And that's the weight which would be provided by the person flying the hang glider. Remember, don't throw it, drop it from a great height. If you're going to go standing on tables, take a lot of care. This is best done from an upstairs window or perhaps a balcony. You don't throw it, you drop it and see where the weight will take it. Here goes. I want to know. Curiosity.